Good job, good job. Of course, it's easy to do everything perfectly when it's not maximum weight. When it starts to get really hard, your brain and your body is trying to find an easier, easier way to lift the weight there. So you've got to override it and say, no, I'm just going to do it this way. And if I can't get it all the way up, better than oh, doing this to get it up just to hit your belt, just you come up three quarters of the way, come up three quarters of the way, yeah? All right? Sorry, 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 sorry. One more. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five. Yes, all Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mike Kind and I would like to welcome you to Mass Body Gym here in Teesside. Just before we go into today's video guys, if you don't already subscribe to my channel, please do. It makes a massive difference to us. And if you enjoy the video, do me another favour and just smash a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and that will allow us to bring more great content like the one that you're going to watch right now. Have a good day, guys. Yeah, we're going to do a bench over the rows. I kind of adapted the old kind of bench over the rows, change the position to target the uh, lower traps and the lats a bit more because I got my ass beat on my first row show by Mohammed Benziza, and I'm really impressed with this thickness of his back trapezes and lower lats. So I really want to focus on that. So this is a bent over row that's now called Gates Row or DY Row because I changed the way that people were doing it. So originally it was kind of here. Either bent over more or less parallel to the floor. Some people even did it on the bench to get extra stretch. And a pull up here, pull up here, which is okay, but it's targeting more of the upper back. And I wanted to get lower down. So I adapted it from being parallel to the floor to bring it more upright here. So the bar is probably like finishing by your knees. You can see that the body is not there, it's there. A few things that's going to put more focus on the lats. Uh, it's going to put your lower back, rather than being here, a little bit vulnerable. We're coming up here, so the legs are a bit bent. I'm here. And there's going to be no movement with the upper body. A lot of people do bent over rows, you see them do this. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, to get it going, yeah? None of that. Here. Position, lock, up, down. That's it, upper body's not moving, legs not moving, so it's gonna look like this. Here, in, in. So, we're going into the waist, keeping it away from legs so you're not sliding up and down your legs. Um, a lot of the exercises for back, I emphasize the contraction, so the pull downs, I come down, I squeeze and I pause. With this one, not so much. It's just a matter of getting it in there, controlling it a bit on the way down. So it's a little bit more of a power exercise, but that's the trapezius. No leg movement, lower, no lower back movement, okay? Is this all right, Peter, you think you can do this? Yeah. All right, let's give it a go then. Medium whip with the grip. Get your head up and look in the mirror. Okay, pull. One, two, good, three, Four, we're doing ten, yeah? Five, good. Six. Perfect. Seven. Eight. Nine. And one. Boom. Yes, down. Good. Perfect. Perfect one more. Next. Who's next? Thank you. Alright. Nice and tight with your legs and your back and everything. Once you pick it up and sit tight there, pull. Eyes in the mirror. Two. Three. Perfect. Four, five, six, seven, pull, two more, and again, boom, you're done. Good job, yeah. mate, good job. All right, nobody from the council filming now? No, 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 no. <laughs> Pull, yes, mate, come on, strong, two, three, Pull, four, five, six, pull it mate, seven, keep it like that, two more like that, perfect, pull, one more, you got it, Ooh. yes sir, good job man, good job. Right, last one. Come on in mate, see what you got, stand a bit closer to the bar, yeah, let me show you, when you pick the bar up from the floor, you don't want to be out here, <coughs> vulnerable, yeah? Put your shins closer close to the bar. Close, 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 right bit more, bit more, bit more. There you go. Bit wider with your stance. Solid. Okay. 
Keep your head up, look in the mirror. Good, one. Stretch it down, two. Stretch it down, up, three, that's it. As soon as you stretch, come straight up. Four. And again, straight up, come on. Five, straight down. And again, let's go. Six. Strong man, come on, pull. Anywhere, one more, come on, pull. You got it, got two more, let's go. Pull it, come on. One more, keep your head up. One more, boom, okay, down, nine and a half. Good job, mate. So what, why am I saying to keep your head up? Because a lot of people don't know, even professionals don't know. In order to contract your lats fully, your spine's got to be a bit arched, a little bit arched, yeah? So, if I'm like this, I'm not getting a full contraction. I need to be like this. As soon as you drop your head down, what happens? Your spine is going to follow, yeah? If I've got my head up like this and I try to round my spine, it, it's virtually impossible. I can't do it without dropping my head down. So if you keep your eyes in the mirror, it's going to maintain that position. All right, second set, yeah? What do you think you would go up to if you, like, maximum, maximum, eight reps? Eight reps max. Yeah. Probably two plates max. Probably. Okay. So let's put some tens on then. It's like kind of, you know, we're getting there, right? One. Good. Perfect. Three. Four. Keep it tight. Five. That's better. Keep it tight. Come on. Six. Two more, pull. Seven, one more, pull. Yes, perfect, good job, good job. Of course, it's easy to do everything perfectly when it's not maximum weight. When it starts to get really hard, your brain and your body is trying to find an easier, easier way to lift the weight, yeah? so you've got to override it and say, no, I'm just gonna do it this way, and if I can't get it all the way up, better than oh, doing this to get it up just to hit your belt, just you come up three quarters of the way, you come up three quarters of the way, yeah? All right? Okay, let's lock it up, man. Strong. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull. One more. Pull. Down. Perfect. Good. Just you're dropping your chin a little bit. Make sure you keep it up. Okay. Do you want to drop the weight down a little bit, mate? Let's do it right, yeah? Let's keep it the same, mate. Keep it the same, yeah. All right. I'm impressed you can do this, mate, so let's do it, do it right, eh? Keep it tight, man. Pull. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Five. Pull. Two more. Pull. One more. Pull. Yeah, mate. Good job. Good job. Fred, next one. Let's keep it the same, mate, but I want it done better, though. Yeah? So, Listen a minute before you go. Last time you also had your legs like really straight. It's going to be much more stable if you've got you got that uh, you've got that bit of bend on your legs as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you pick it up. Boom. And just got a bit of a bend on the leg still. Yeah. Eyes in the mirror. Now go. One. Good. Eyes in the mirror. Boom. Two. As soon as you go down. Cool. Three. Whoa, four, come on. Keep it like that. Pull. Five. And again. Pull. Six. Two more. Head up. Let's go. Pull. Halfway up. Come on, halfway. Pull. Okay, down. Good job. Good job. Nice one, mate. Not bad for a 14 year old, though. Two plates. Tens. Two tens, yeah. Two tens on, yeah? Yeah. So your final set, where you're going to the point of exhaustion, as I was saying, you know, it's like, it's all good, perfect, yeah? But as it's gonna get tough, your body's gonna be like, I need to help out, I need to do this, I need, no, 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 you're the boss, mate. You say, I'm just gonna keep this line of movement, and I'm gonna keep going, and if I can't get all the way up, instead of like, using some momentum, just touch the weight. You go as far as you can go, mate, and that's it, yeah? All right. This is the only set that's productive. The rest is just, Warming up and it's within your capacity and it's not doing jack shit. This is it. Come on. Solid weight. One. Come on. Two. Let's go. Pull. Three. Good. Pull. Four. Pull. 
Five. Come on, drive it up. Pull. One more. Pull. Halfway. Pull. One more. Halfway. Pull. Yes, jump. Yeah, good man. Yeah. Good job. Good job. You want to try this or? I'll get. I'll give it a go. All right. Please. Do it right then, yeah. I will do it right. Then. Come on. Let's have it, man. This is the last set. Tighten up. One. Keep the legs still. Two. Three. Four. Four. Keep it set. Pull. Pull. Halfway up. Pull. Drop it down. Take a turn off. <coughs> Want some more reps, yeah? Tighten up. Yes. Two more. Pull. And again. Pull. One more. Pull. Half rep. Pull. Done, mate. Good job. Nice. Good job, mate. Thank you. Jump this off, Alright mate, last one, yeah? Nice and tight. You got it. Pull. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Pull. Six. It's good. Come on. Pull. Seven. And again. Eight. Two more. All the way up. Come on. Pull. And again. Pull. Two more. Halfway. Come on. Up. One more. Up. Down. Good job, mate. Good job. Great. Well done. Some fives on? Six reps, yeah? Come on. Get that stance strong. Drop your hips down a bit. Pick it up. That's it. Line it up, man. One. More power from the bottom. Come on. Pull. Two. Pull. Three. And again. Pull. Four. Two more. Eyes up. Oh, one more. Oh, pull. Pull. Okay. Bit heavy, but good effort. Good effort. Well done. Well done, son. Okay, that's, that's it, yeah? That's, that's it, yeah. All so, right, one exercise on back. So we did bent over rows. Of course, there's other exercises we could do. Uh, if I did the whole routine, I would start with a pullover. Excellent. Pre exhaust the lats with no biceps. Pullover, pull downs, barbell row. Maybe a cable row and uh, finish with deadlifts, so that'll be my normal uh, back routine. So, obviously, we can't do everything, just doing one exercise, different body parts, but that would be the whole routine. It'd be, it'd be one, one, warm up and then one, one working set. Warm up as is necessary. You know what I mean, if you need two sets to warm up, you do two sets. Yeah, you need one, you do one. Yeah, but you've got to keep in mind that ain't doing shit. It's part of the workout, you need to say to get there, but the last rep on the last set is the only rep that's actually productive, but you're, you're going to get there, right? But keep that in mind, it's the last rep that you couldn't do last week, it's going to do something this week. Would you ever use straps? If you, yeah, at some point, your lat strength is going to outstrip your grip strength, at some point, yeah? So that's when you should use them, but, and only then. Not only warm-up sets, like, just on that last set where you, you know, your grips are becoming an issue, so now you can't focus on what you should be focusing on because your grip, oh, I'm losing my grip, and your focus is gone, yeah? So absolutely, for the last set, I would use them.